good morning. It is Tuesday again, and we are back at Awakening Yoga in Napanee Public Library. So today, in addition to Awakening, we're going to call it Artful Yoga. Um, art comes in many forms, from stained glass to two-dimensional pieces of art, um, to my pennant necklace, my beautiful necklace that my nephew Jack designed for me. Um, it has a picture of the Round Barn Theater on it. So I thought if you have kids with you doing yoga today, discuss art. Um, the earth without art is eh. <laughs> That's a, a saying that I like. We have so much artwork in our house, it's colorful and it makes us feel happy. So today, try to do some art with your kids. Sidewalk chalk, um, a coloring page, uh, get some beads out, and just um, put those, glue those on a piece of paper. But we're gonna talk about art. So let's start though with our star jumps to warm up your body. Let it know that it's gonna have some activity right now. And at the end of the workout, you will feel so good to take on your day. Now, if you are more of a low impact type of person, you can simply modify, take one leg out at a time, and keep it low impact. But you're just working on movement, getting the blood to flow, getting your heart rate up, oxygen in, oxygen equals energy. So just keep lightly landing on the floor for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So some people call those old fashioned jumping jacks. I like to call them star jumps. And just circle your hips while I catch my breath and circle the other way. And now let's just go into a light jog. Remember the whole time you're pulling your belly button towards your spine, promoting good posture. As you're pumping those arms, do not run like a girl. <laughs> Pump those arms. Make it look like you know what you're doing as a runner. And again, low impact, march. You can pick those knees up, or you can just march lower to the ground. Anything is going to help awaken your body. So just jog a little bit more, and we'll count down again. So if you've got kids in the room, let's hear them count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Okay, if you remember last week, we do lots of deep breathing. So breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, nice and steady, out through your mouth. Very good. All right, we did tree pose last week, which was the balancing move on each side. And this week we're going to do Pose of the Dancer. So take your right foot behind, and this stretch is for your quadricep. There's Lana. <laughs> Wave at the camera, Lana. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put your arm, your opposite arm, over your head, and you're gonna feel a stretch not only in the front of your thigh, but look how my right shoulder whew, is also getting a stretch. And then if you would like, you can take it further. And again, this is Pose of the Dancer. You'll find me doing this out on the walking path by the golf course. And back up. Okay, other side with yoga and stretching. Always want to do everything on both sides to stay balanced. 
although you're going to realize that one side might be more flexible than the other, that's okay, changes daily. And then again, reach up a little further, stretch that left thigh. You're working your right leg simply by having all your weight bearing down on it. So it's toning at the same time that you're stretching the left side. Come back up, both feet planted into the earth, mountain pose, and circle those arms up. Deep breath in, remember your oxygen equals energy, and swan dive down. And let's see where you're at right now. It's okay if your fingertips do not reach the floor, just hang heavy, Maybe sway back and forth. The kids can think about an elephant's trunk or a ragdoll pose. And your knees can have a slight bend. We call that soft knees. And just let yourself stretch. Now this is for the back of your legs. So hold here, close your eyes. And then one vertebrae at a time, roll. Circle your shoulders, big arm circles, sunshine arms, opposite direction, soft knees, and then take another deep breath in. And just feel relaxation taking over in your body, bring your hands into prayer pose. All right, so this is awakening yoga. We'll go into sun salutations, saluting the beautiful morning sun. We'll do two on each side, and we're going to start with our right leg. So, soft knees, big deep breath in. Swan dive down. So, right here, you hold your belly in. Try to keep your knees straight. And then come out into a plank pose. So here is your plank. If you want to modify, you can come down to your knees. And then from this, we're going to scoop down and into a cobra. You can lower into a sphinx pose with your arms bent. I still feel a nice stretch in my back right here. You can come up into the cobra. And if you want to raise off of your thighs, this is an upward dog. From this pose, we're gonna push back into a downward facing dog. And here's where you try to get those heels as close to the floor as you can. And when we go into a second round, you're gonna feel that they're gonna be closer to the floor. Your fingers are spread, give yourself a nice big base. And then walk your feet up and circle back up. Deep breath in. There, down to mountain pose. Okay, we'll go to the other side. So circle up and arch back. Swan dive down. Step back with your right foot into a low lunge, into your plank pose. Scoop down, either go to your knees and come up to your cobra. So the stretch in your abs, your chest is open, your neck is long. Or from your plank, you can use your arm strength, lower down, and scoop up to your cobra. Upward facing dog, and then back to your downward facing dog. There, my heels are on the ground. How about you? From here, just walk your feet to the center of the mat, just your floor, the grass, and circle up, and prayer pose. All right, shake out, and let's do some inchworms. So, back up a little bit, and all you're gonna do is walk your hands all the way out, You end in a plank pose. Hold here. I want you to take your right hand, tap your left shoulder, left hand, 
tap your right shoulder and then use your hands just like an inchworm and come back up deep breath in and out okay second inchworm walk your hands out right there i feel the stretch in my calves you're working those arms come into your plank do an upward row with your right hand upward row with your left hand and then walk your hands back to your feet and your deadlift up open your chest big breath feel strong another one walk your hands out this time try to raise your right leg so it's parallel to the floor maybe pull your knee Towards your chin, engage those abs, go into your plank, raise your left leg, pull your knee in, back to your plank, and walk your hands back. And now we'll just do two normal inchworms. So back down, back up, your core is engaged are working the torso it's strengthening your back yoga is very good a great answer for lower back pain and come up very good Princess. all right now before we go and do some floor work let's do a little bit of standing ab work most people think of sit-ups, your, your typical sit-up on the floor that can hurt your neck um, as, as what you have to do uh, for the lower abs. But you can do a lot of standing crunches that help too. So let's start with our hands behind our head. I just want you to raise your right leg. Sorry, raise it, crunch, bring it down, and then crunch it bent and down. Just do five of those. So this is working our obliques, it's strengthening the whole core. One more. And then switch to your left side. So straight out with your left leg. And the floor is moving here in the library today. <laughs> it's rocking. It's not me. Maybe it's Michaela moving the camera. <laughs> Two more. one very good and then I want you to just think you're on a kayak so you're doing figure eights with your arms over to your sides though so you are again working the obliques each side this just feels good opening everything up taking your deep breaths in and out awakening for your day and lastly, we're going to do what's called a wood chopper. You just bring your arms over your head, and you're going to just go over to the other side. So it's just a back and forth move. But again, those abs hold in tight the whole time. And you just go side to side, raising up on your toes. So you're getting some calf workout, kind of massaging the toes. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All of these moves, I hope you realize, are helping you grow an inch. Lean over to the right and lean over to the left. All right, who's ready to sit down? So let's come down to our mats. And before we go into our deep yoga stretch, do a little bit more with our abs today. So let's start with Russian twists. Your feet can be flat on the floor. You can go into a boat. So this is gonna engage your legs too. But if you wanna just keep your feet down, you're really gonna concentrate on your abs. And you're just gonna go side to side. This is called a Russian twist. And then what we can do is tap the floor. Two three, 
four, oh, my back just cracked, five. And now I want you to do two claps on each side. So get that mind working. Concentrate on what I'm asking you to do. Focus only on the workout right now. Let everything else just drift away. Be mindful. Five, four, tap, three, two, are you feeling it in your abs? One, very good, whew. All right, good job everyone. Let's start in a pike position. Feet straight out, arms over your head. We talked last week about the importance of good posture, how it makes you look confident. It just makes you feel and look happy. It gives you more energy. So all day today, think about putting those shoulders back and down from your ears, your chest out, abs are tight, and work on your posture. So, forward bend, see if you can touch those toes. If not, that's okay, wherever, wherever you feel the stretch, you shouldn't feel pain, and just hold. Rock a little bit side to side, your sits bones, I feel it in my lower back. And then walk your hands back up. Let's take your left leg over your right for a spinal twist. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. And back into your pike. Nice posture. And then raise your left or your right foot or right leg over your left and look over your right. So when I'm looking over my right shoulder, I see this beautiful um, stained glass artwork, the stained glass window. This was created by a family friend, an architect from Traverse City, Michigan. His name is Robert Holdaway. And he worked with my dad, Dick Fletcher, um, on one of the big remodels of the library. So my dad's story about this stained glass window is he, Bob, and my mom, Susie, let's go into a straddle and tell my story, and just lean forward. They were sitting at the B&B &B restaurant having lunch. The B&B &B is now, as we know it, um, the coffee shop right next door to the library. And Dick said he and Bob were sweating over what, what should be the design in that stained glass? What, what should it be? And without even looking up from enjoying her cup of soup, my mom said, how about books? So that's the story behind this beautiful stained glass that, that Bob uh, designed and, and honored my mom and dad with. All right, see if your elbows can come down on the mat, forearms down on the mat, and push yourself. Go out a little bit further than you think you can. We, we do it, we perform at about 60% of our capacity. So push yourself a little bit farther. Go to 70% right now, and you'll be proud of yourself when we're done today. Walk your hands back up, and let's go into our boat where we are balancing, again, using the core, and then up into a V-set in first position. And if you're shaking, that's good. That means you are tightening your thighs, you're using your core, and just hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now I want you to take your right leg and just gently lower it, stay in control the whole time. Don't touch the floor, no cheating. Bring it back up, take your left leg down, control, don't touch the floor. With yoga, it's quality over quantity. And back up, okay, very good. Go on your hands and knees into tabletop. From tabletop, 
I want you to curl your toes under and just lift a couple inches off the floor. Okay? Just hold right here. Once again, kind of like a plank. You're, you're engaging everything right now. Your triceps are working. Your core is tight. I feel my thighs working. And then from here, I just want you to rock forward into your plank. Push back into your downward facing dog. And by now, you really should feel some increased flexibility for the day. And raise your right leg, three-legged dog. Bring that leg through into a pigeon. So we go into our pigeon pose, which is one of my favorite. Opens up the hip. You can rock side to side. You can come down onto your forearms and feel it in your lower back. Just hold pigeon pose. That's Mo Williams, right, Michaela, that mm -hmm. writes all the pigeon books? Yep. I love those books. And maybe that can be your art project today. Grab one of the, what, what are they called? What's like some of the titles? Elephant and Piggy and okay. the Pigeon Drives the Bus and stuff like that. Yeah, so. and those, there's, there's certainly a talent to those, but they do look easy to draw, kind of copy and draw. So that might be fun today. It's some of the Mo Williams artwork. Come back up, back into your plank. Hold your plank. Take your right hand to your left shoulder, left to the right. Let's do a few of those. Just tap at your own pace. Okay, and push back to your downward facing dog. Raise your left leg and then bring it through into your pigeon on your left side. And arch your back a little bit, back bend. Rock side to side. Our time's going too fast again. It's been 25 minutes. <laughs> Come down onto your forearms. And last time, back into your plank. And once again, if this is too much for you, simply go into a tabletop or you can have a tea party on your back. But if you want to try for that 70 and 80%, then come back up onto a plank. And last time into Cobra and stretch up. You can look over your shoulders here too. A little more stretch in your back and then push back into a child's pose. Ah. Stretch the lower back. Your arms are straight out, but they can also be tucked into your side. Forehead on the floor. Let's do a few cat and cows before we meditate for a few minutes. So you, uh, when you breathe in, when you inhale, you arch your back. <laughs> when you exhale, you curl. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. This is your cat and cow. You can decide which is the cow. And it's this one. <laughs> and you can decide which is the angry cat. Right here. Straighten out your right arm from this position and your left leg. Balance. You're going to stay balanced throughout the day today. Bring your hand and leg down. Reach out with your left arm and your right leg. And come down. All right, guys, good job for our meditation cool down. I wanna tell you something you may not know here at the library. They have a collection of artwork that you just won't believe. These are two pieces as a, as a sample that are in the medium media room. Um, they're also just on display throughout the library. Whatever catches your eye, 
whatever piece is the size and um, just the colors that you would like in your house, check it out. Not for two weeks, for, Michaela, am I right? Three months. Yep. You can have one of these pieces of artwork hanging in your house for three months and you can renew it one time. So I think that's a really, really neat um, feature here at the library. Um, our past wonderful directors, Linda Yoder and Lisa Krull, they both um, put a lot of um, importance into purchasing uh, original, beautiful artwork at Spring Into Art and just growing the collection. And it is for you to check out and take home. So I brought down two pieces from the media room. I want you to choose whether you want to put this picture in your mind right now while we do our meditation of a beach and water, the sun umbrella, or if you want to choose to think about the tulips in the garden. And that's all I want to be in your mind. Nothing else. Very mindful as we cool down and go on with our day. So sit in pretzel pose. You can real gently tap your index fingers to your thumbs. Just drape your fingers over your knees. If you want to, you can feel your breath going in and out. Rising, rising, rising when you inhale. Falling, falling, falling when you exhale. And whichever painting you chose, the image to embed into your mind right now, keep thinking about it. That helps you keep all other thoughts at bay. Have plenty of time for them when we're done with our practice today. Just walk your hands forward. Keep your eyes closed. And either listen to the waves, the water, maybe a little bit of breeze on the beach, or listen to the bees, the birds, maybe a sprinkler watering the garden. When you're ready, just come back sitting and take your right hand over to the left. Your left hand over to the right side. Both hands behind you. Raise up on your knees. Sit back down. Clasp those hands together behind you. Take your right hand and gently bring your right ear toward your shoulder. Roll forward with your head and then help with your left hand, bringing your left ear to your left shoulder. And then again, roll forward. Picture the painting, the colors and just use a little pressure behind your head. And then sitting up nice and straight, look to the left. Look to the right. Look forward. I hope you agree with me that earth without art is just eh. And just keep your eyes open today for God's art out in nature. Art that's already in your home, come up to the library and get some art for your home. Um, the other exciting thing to tell you about the library, hi Martha, hi. is that it's open regular hours. So I'm gonna try to tell you what those are. Monday through Thursday, nine to nine, okay? Friday, nine to 5.30. Saturday, 9 to 5. Sunday, 1 to 5. Seven days a week, you can come visit Napanee Public Library. 
put your hands together in prayer. We bow forward and we all say namaste. I will be back again next Tuesday and I don't know where you'll find me, a different spot in the library, but I hope you enjoyed our backdrop today, the beautiful stained glass window um, designed by Bob Hulleman with the help of my mom. Namaste. Namaste.